I am Dr. Andrew Bletcher, and I specialize in sports medicine. I've been practicing at the Southern California Orthopedic Institute for 10 years, where I've had the opportunity to care for athletes from all walks of life, from age 8 to age 80. PRP stands for platelet-rich plasma. This is produced by taking a sample of the patient's blood, usually from the arm. It is then placed into a centrifuge, and it is spun down. And that fluid is then concentrated and separated to produce a fluid that is rich in platelets, thus platelet-rich plasma. This is then injected into the site of injury, and these platelets then release growth factors, and these growth factors assist in tissue healing. Typically after a PRP procedure, the patient may experience some discomfort for about two or three days. During this time, they may require simple analgesics such as Tylenol. We encourage the patients to avoid all anti-inflammatories such as aspirin, Advil, or Motrin because these will reduce the effect of PRP treatment. Furthermore, we usually place the injured body part in some type of brace for the first week for protection. So if we are treating the knee, we might give a knee brace. The patient will remain in the brace for about a week. At that time, if they are doing well, the brace is removed and the patient is allowed to return to their usual daily activities. They will then start a rehabilitation program and a home exercise program, which will continue for about eight weeks. It may take up to about 12 weeks for the injury to completely heal itself, for the tendon or ligament to completely remodel.